we get those guys in here? Well, let's do it. It's about time. Let's get Ray Manzarek, who's the keyboard player for The Doors. We meet The Doors. John Densmore and Danny Sugarman. Legendary band. These guys, uh, were they giving us a hard time about coming in here? The last message we got is they weren't coming in. No, not really. Oh, yeah, I just saw the message. Oh, yeah? And yeah, it said, they're not coming. Well, I wish they'd make up their minds. You know, these rock stars. This better be a damn good interview for the grief they're putting me up with. I'm going to be evaluating this one pretty closely. That's right. Here they come. All right, here they come. Oh, look at this. You guys are legends. Get in here. You put on my glasses. I'll look. will be more happening. Let me put my glasses on. Get in here. So you can see this them. This is Howard. great. You want to see the legends. Athlete's oh, foot. Man. I'm not going to shake. Oh. oh, I don't have athlete's foot. Oh, look at this. Howard. Yeah. How come Ray cut his hair? I did this a long time ago. You did? Yeah, yeah. What you cut your hair for? Hey, that was the 60s. Hey, that was then, this is now. That's All Robin right? over there? Hi, Robin. Hi there, how are you? I'm Ray. Hi, Ray. This is John Densmore. Hi, John. John Densmore! Yo, Doors! Danny Sugarman in the dark glasses. Danny! There. Danny. So you know everybody is. <laughs> are the Doors technically still together? Uh, we're here in this room, man. We don't play together. You know. Well, we're going to play today, aren't we? I wrote a, a song parody for uh, Light My Fire. Oh, that'll be funny. I'm I ready. wrote... Uh, come on, baby, light my barbecue. Come on, baby, light my barbecue. <laughs> that's that's not bad. For the summer. That's not bad. And where's my... Uh, I was trying to figure out how to play Light My Fire. I took five years of piano, and I can't figure it out. Hey, tell me if I'm close. Five years is not enough. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that part. Forget it. Oh. Well, he certainly made you sound good this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're a genius, man. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You know that it would be untrue You know that I rolling, would be alive Rolling on the river Rolling <laughs> Well, same song Rolling on the river So you guys ripped that song off yeah. right. <laughs> Now you found it Left a good job in the city There you go Credence, man, you want to play with Credence Come on, baby, like my fire Learn on, baby, like my fire Bad. Try to set the night on fire. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It really doesn't matter what you play, Howard. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Want to hang good, on, Howard. Sloopy? It's a whole. Day. I think you just played let it. Let my fire. Let my fire. Let my fire. So, uh, what the hell are you guys doing here, anyway? Video. We got a new video out. Doors live at the Hollywood Bowl. Full length video. You watch it at home. You go to the video store. You rent it. You buy it. You take it home and you put it in and you watch Jim Morrison and the Doors. July fifth, nineteen sixty eight. Live at the one, Hollywood Bowl. One whole concert. One entire concert. Whoa. Live, in color, sync sound, looks great, sounds great, and there's yeah. Morrison doing an entire concert at the Hollywood Bowl. Now, where did you find this? Did you have this all the time? Yeah, we had it all the time. We shot it, uh, you know, some friends from UCLA were our film crew. Uh, Paul Rothschild, Bruce Botnick, uh, producer and uh, engineer, did the sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been sitting in the can waiting to be used all these years. We had a few technical problems that yeah. can only be fixed through digital. We won't go into the technical problems, but uh -huh. digital technology came along. We were able to eliminate a few crackles in Jim's vocal and uh, came out clear and clean. And we said, hey, let's do the whole concert, man. Okay. So, so this is a whole they, videotape of a concert? A videotape of a concert. A concert. Our. Just like uh, Elton John concert in concert. This is the Doors in concert. The only one that really exists in Can I color. ask the question? Was Jim, this was like a good performance of Jim's all the way through? All the Doors performances. Was Jim drunk good. during this? <laughs> well, well, actually, uh, Howard, uh, he Jim did, was alive, um, man. Jim was at least alive. <laughs> he hey, did that's take good. some <laughs> substance, though. Well, he did? Controlled substance. We should have a right. contest right. for the callers to call in and guess that's what Jim Morrison what was You guys must have I put up was, every time I watch Doors and stuff and I listen to the Doors music, I go every time I'm sitting there I'm thinking, man, the crap these guys had to put up with Jim Mars. Uh, seriously, you had to put up a lot of crap with no, the guy. No, the opposite, really man. The man was a genius. He was a poet. Well, we got paid for it, Howard. Yeah, I mean, you got paid well for it, but... <laughs> yeah. But not, he was, not I mean, as much as you get now, perhaps, you know. Well, we didn't make that much money. There weren't that many record sales in those days. Really? Yeah. yeah <laughs> you didn't yeah. make that much money? Not not in comparison, man. Not to what oh, uh, people are oh, making. Oh, you guys it's are living really well. Rough. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You did 
said, all right. I, I mean, that was when a dollar was a dollar. You I guys made, are making a, you guys are millionaires. <laughs> I didn't make, uh, Ray didn't make a lot, but I did. Oh, you did. I'm the drummer. The drummer always gets the most amount you know, of money. Always get all that's the why drummers. I, the drummers I do always. These, uh, commercials on TV, you know. Not, oh. What commercials on TV did you do? <laughs> Uh, none. He was a drummer with the Beatles. <laughs> That's right. Well, the drummer's always the one that gets screwed because they always give him less money. But Not in this case. But drummers no. are like squirrels. They like to like <laughs> pack away that money and yeah. invest it and stuff, yeah. and they get real serious with it. <laughs> oh. And then they go and marry He's Barbara Bach and give her half of it. <laughs> I don't think I can come back with that. Squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Oh, wait, I got it. Your hair's kind of squirrely. Oh, come on, you guys. Lighten up, will you? <laughs> I promised Howard you guys would be nice to him. That's oh, right. You know what I'm looking forward to? Uh, we've heard about you guys in uh, California. And oh, I'm, uh, yes, yes, You're yes, yes, yes. And I'm looking forward to the dirty talk, man. I'm, uh, I can't wait. See, you know, we don't. Well, talk you guys dirty. said we can't talk about Jim's dick. Oh, stop it! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he said he said the D word. Yeah, so you guys wanted to hear that. So I love there it. it. Is that it? All right, now that we got it out of the okay. way. Don't all right. Cater to oh, that you could never get it out of the way, man. What are you guys all married now and stuff? <laughs> yeah. You are? Yeah. Really? Married and, and stuff. And stuff? <laughs> and stuff, too. Yeah. And you got kids Married and everything? stuff and got kids in a house. Yeah, but you guys don't have to go yeah. to work every day or anything. You just hang out, right? Just hang out. That's man. what I want to do. This is what I love about just rock stars. hang out. Yeah. You know, they know how to live. They do. They do not work every day. Who they work guys, in spurts. Who yeah. do you guys party with? Who do I party? Who do you party with? Par man? Party animal. Myself. Party animal. No, I mean, you guys Ooh. party. Ooh, do you party. guys ever get together and stuff? Yeah, we see each other. I've got a party now. in my pants right now. Woo! Yeah. Oh, right. Whoa, John. Sorry. Ooh, Whoa, why don't you John. invite us? <laughs> Come on, John. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh, it's not called hard rock for nothing. <laughs> you're, not in, you're not intimidating hard rock us. Hard Densmore. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Hey, Danny, how did you get the hell involved with these guys anyway? Uh, Sitting over there all of a sudden, he's talking about the Doors like he was in the Doors. <laughs> well, he's you like, guys don't think of Danny as one of the Doors members, do you? He's replaced Jim. Yeah, really. I mean, he's walking around like he's Jim Morrison with the phone calls. <laughs> hey, you guys, we heard you talking about it. It's not cool. We're not coming on the show. Hey. Uh, all right, Howard. What are you, the spokesperson for the Doors? He's the official biographer. <laughs> get out of here, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Got some nerve. L listen to the girl over there, Howard. Right, listen I to I want to hear dirty talk, man. I've come to New York to hear filth and dirt. I want dirt. No, there's no dirt. Here. The There's nothing felt. College, college graduate. I was set there. up by the politicians in this country who want us to be, be in good with their constituents, so they, they pick on me. See, Morrison was in the same position. That's exactly, exactly right. Exactly. You no, know, I'm a lot like Jim Morrison. I really am. Mm -hmm. A lot of people compare me with You're him. You're a derelict. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm a derelict. <laughs> And I'm a complete <laughs> bastard to the people I work with. Was he no, a bastard no, no, to the people he worked with? Was he good to you guys? Yeah, he was fine, man. Nice he was? guy. Nice guy. Well, except when he was drunk. I don't picture him being a nice guy. No, he was great. He Not was. when he was drunk. When he was drunk, he, he was... He went through personality changes? No, he just got drunk and turned into a uh, real son of a bee, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got drunk. You know, just... have you ever seen a happy drunk? Very rarely. Yeah, you know? very <laughs> rarely. Are, are, are all nasty, man. And You're not uh, kidding. Jim was terrific. Great poet. Great poet. Great intellectual, dare I say that word on this radio station. Intellectual. We're intellectual. Hey, man, what are you talking? <laughs> Let's talk here. You think we ain't got no brains? Bra Ooh, brains. Ooh, more brains. I like the way you ha applaud for yourself. That's cool. No one else is going, though. <laughs> so how many... This is what rock and roll is all about. Oh, man. Dirty right how many here. girls did Jim Morrison have at the same time? Could he could he handle at the same time? Didn't he have incredible sexual problems? Yeah. Seventeen yeah. paternity suits in one month. In really? one month? Or was it eighteen? Wow. 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 Seventeen? Wow. Well, there what are a man. more little yeah, he was a man. See, Manly he, man. In thing. Miami, you knew when it came out. That's I right. Mean, you could see it from across the room and wow. that thing Lord. You know, actually he didn't expose himself because he would have tripped. That's right. He would have <laughs> fallen off the stage. It's wild. Well, did you guys get? Did he leave any girls with the rest of the band? There were no witnesses. He knocked <laughs> not out a lot. The front row. <laughs> he hogged them all. You know that's the thing when you're a lead singer. Well, yeah. you get to hog all the women. Yeah. And Maura, when are. did you get married, Ray? Did you get married like uh, recently or a long time ago? Like before the doors started happening. Sixty-seven. 1967. So I got married. Was, I, your, was your wife like a groupie of the? This year? is your twentieth anniversary. My 20th the doors anniversary. And, do and, <laughs> right. and doors. But wait a second, Ray. Ray, was she like a follower of the band? or was No, she, she was a uh, UCLA. I met Jim Morrison and my wife at UCLA. Oh, so she really loves you then? Yeah. 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 I love her too. You know? <laughs> and she's a great lay man. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That's interesting. Well, there's something you don't learn on any other radio station. Yeah, I didn't even read that in Danny's book. <laughs> Hey, don't brag, you know, just because you're getting something. Yeah, There's a lot of guys in our audience who don't get anything. Hey, Ray, how do you get your hair to stick up straight like that? You using, like, a, a spray on that or something? Dippity-doo. Really? Dippity-doo. 
Because I'm thinking of doing that with my hair. Dippity doo. You're going to cut your hair short Wait a minute. and spike it? Wait Not sure, really? but I'd like to get it a little spiky on top. Mm. Dippity doo. That's all. Really? I'm right in the any old drugstore. Dippity okay. doo. Just rub it in there. We're here with, uh, well, what are the two remaining <laughs> members of the doors? No, there's three Robbies back in L.A. Oh, He's cool. with Robbie. <laughs> Who cares about Robbie? Everybody cares about Robbie. He's the mm. guitar player, man. Robbie, Robbie wrote, wrote Light, Light My, my Fire. fire. Hey, hey, do you guys know that, that you guys never had a bass player? I didn't know that. <laughs> Why was that? God. Why was that? That's great, man. We couldn't find one. Right, that's what was missing. You know what I think it was? I couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, no offense. I would have liked the music a lot more had you had a little bass line going in there. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. That's why I never saw you guys live. I heard there was no bass player. No bla bass, no bass. The hell with it. Yeah. No, man. we never found one. Man. We never found was a bass right? player that was any good. Ray played bass. <laughs> he had a guitar in his lap. That nobody, like, he held it like a Hawaiian one. No, I had a little oh. piano bass. I had a uh, keyboard bass on top of the organ. Exactly. Really? You set did. it right down on my organ. Hey, you want to play some Light My Fire and I'll sing my... A song parody? I don't know it anymore. You you know it. I don't. I don't. You. I, I can't play it as well as you do. Come here. Come here. Left a good job yeah, in try the this. city. <laughs> try just try. It. Hey. Oh, it works. Hey, give me the words of the song parody. What have you done with them? That's enough. That's enough. Oh, you want to do the song parody? Okay. No. Nah. Okay. Come on. Get, and get it near your mic. The um. The uh. Gotta have it. Doesn't right. sound anything like when you were playing, no. Howard. The Ray and Howard Show, a new duo. <laughs> Hit it, Howard. Okay, here I go. You know I piled up those briquettes. <laughs> you know I tried to make a fire. <laughs> I squirted on the lighter fluid. And then I piled the newspapers higher. Yeah. Oh, come on, baby, light my barbecue. Come on, baby, light my barbecue. Wait, we gotta hear the second All right. verse. Right. What happened, Ray? That's it? He's that's ending enough. the song. That's enough, right? <laughs> oh, thanks. The retard means the song is over. Very All good. Right. That was good. That was good. I like it. <laughs> you got that copyrighted, Howard? Yeah, I know. It's really beautiful, isn't it? I know Weird Al Yankovic is lurching somewhere looking to steal that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, here's something interesting, Howard. Dick yeah. Clark Productions is signed with the estate of Liberace to make a two-hour ABC TV movie of Liberace's life. Really? Yeah. That they haven't cast be. it yet. That should be interesting. Ray, you could play Liberace. I could play you Liberace. play piano. Yeah. I could play Liberace. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, <laughs> ma'am. Well, yeah. thank you, everyone. Yeah, I've got Very thank good. You. Thank yeah. you. You know, you know why Liberace has uh, uh, four bathrooms in his house? Why? Because he's a pianist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. You know, you, you need to get a new band or something and get out on the road again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Get the patter. Get the patter going. So where's the guitar player? How come he doesn't come around and promote the video? Press shy. Press shy, really? Yeah, he's leaning Very back shy. in California. The introverted genius. He's working on his skateboard ramp. Hey, so what's the deal? You guys millionaires or something? What does Danny hang around with you? Danny, how do you hang around with these Wouldn't guys? Wouldn't you hang around with a millionaire, man? Danny, what, what, Danny, what do you do? Danny, you wrote the book, No One Gets Out of Here Alive. Nobody, nobody here nobody. gets out alive. Well, whatever. Yeah, nobody gets out of here alive. Which I, I really like it if I called it the Howard Stein Show. You no, know? really. Stein. It is. That's what I thought it was. Howard Stein. <laughs> Did you write that book? Did you make enough money that you can hang around with these guys? That Seriously? got me entrance in the club. Really? You got to sell a million books to hang around with the doors. And what did you do? You just like, you just, you met Jim Marston because you answered his mail? Yeah. Yeah. I need someone to answer my mail. <laughs> what, what are you doing today, Dan? I was a you good, gotta find a I was a good worker. worker. I actually need someone to do that. Yeah. He, he, he was better than handy. Gary. He got all the letters out. And you must have gotten yeah. a lot of letters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He took care of business. So then, Danny, you I made I still it. answer the fan mail. So you have enough money that you don't have to work anymore? No, they pay me to answer their fan mail. <laughs> I'm saying, I know you guys are set for life. He works, man. He works for us. He works like a really? dog. He works for you guys doing yeah. what? Thank you, Ray. Answering fan mail. <laughs> no, really. What does he do? It was a good job uh, when he was 14. <laughs> it's still a good job, man. Ray, Ray, what is your Somebody's got to do I'm it. I'm just trying to figure out the whole thing. Like, Danny just hangs around with the doors all day, and that seems to be his job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, we, we wouldn't know how to get over here, you know. He had to uh, lead us. We're oh, he's like a press stars agent. And yeah. We can't function, you know. Yeah. But you guys don't do you don't guys don't do that many interviews anymore. You only yeah. do them when you're selling something. Yeah, well, sometimes. Yeah. And a lot of calls, a lot of calls. 
Danny's the, writing another book. The says. residual checks you guys must get. Tough life. Yeah. Now, who gets Jim Morrison's money, though, from the albums mm, and a, the uh, videotape? A 65-year-old retired admiral and a 68-year-old retired high school principal. Oh, You're tell kidding. The really? truth. Right. We, we have an address in South Africa. <laughs> you mean Ooh, to tell who oh, deposits? Oh, no. What do you mean, Morrison's parents? Morrison's parents get Morrison's the money? Morrison's parents and Pamela's parents get the money. Really? Yeah. yeah. Showbiz. Oh, yeah. man. Well, see, that's why you have to make out a will. Yeah, because I don't think have... he, he didn't like them very much, did Well, we won't well, get into that. They might be listening or something. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he said my parents are dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, parents... that's, that's a sign. <laughs> yeah, his parents are laughing. <laughs> he didn't say whether he liked them or not. He just said they're dead, you know. <laughs> I think about that. Mom and dad, uh, you're dead. <laughs> that's why you got to make out a that, will. That's a hint of something. <laughs> what is it? But Pamela was, his, was Jim Morrison's girlfriend. Yeah. And He uh, left everything to her. Then she died, and she didn't have a will, so she the money too. went oh. to her parents, and Next then her kid. parents and Jim's parents settled up, and they said, hey, let's get this kid's money, ha, 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 and they oh, get all really? the money. Yeah. Oh. Well, who else should get it, though, when you think about it? Jim's brother and sister. Yeah. Oh. Pam's sister. You know, it's going to the old timers. And you don't think the parents are giving any of the money to the brother and sister? No. Oh, no. Andy doesn't get any. Andy, if you're really? listening out there, man, sorry, Jack. Andy, sorry. Andy Morrison. Andy can't Morrison can't do anything yeah. to help you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, he's out with the family, so they said no money for you, young man. He's out with the family because he talked to the authors of No One Here Gets Out Alive, which right. was you. It's yeah. all your fault. What kind of putz are you? You could have advised him. You know, Danny, you're <laughs> you a troublemaker. Get rid of him. <laughs> Something wrong with you. What that was nice. Oh, oh, oh. So why don't you give him some of the profits of the book? That's well. an idea. Oh, That's well. Dan, yeah, Danny doesn't say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's keeping his mouth shut about that. <laughs> We're going to give money he, away. He, he likes yeah. thumbing his nose at his parents. I mean, they said, don't, don't talk to those guys. We're not talking to them. And, and just like Jim did, he thumbed his nose and said, I'm going to do what I want to do. But this is pretty complicated, man. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there's a whole soap opera behind oh, the whole yeah. thing of uh, the money. You know, there was a box of poetry found in San Francisco labeled 127 Fascination, a small attache case made out of metal. In that box are the last writings of Jim Morrison from Paris. Yeah. Well, I heard you guys want to make an album out of that. No, not an album. Uh, it's uh, It would be, if anything, Thing, uh, we want to uh, mount it on the stage. A performance opera is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Jim wrote an opera. Before. But you However, guys can't get your hands on that. The you rights, don't... exactly. Right. Here's here's the soap opera, the Machiavellian. Uh, the rights belong to the estate or they belong to the guys who own the box. And there's going right. to be lawsuits. Mm. And, you know, all of that stuff is going on under the surface and behind the scenes. Mm. So forget it. You guys are never going to get a hold of that. I just want to uh, do something with the poetry. We want to put some music to the poetry. But, uh, well. Well, maybe someday, somewhere down the line, one two seven fascination, and that's going to be the name of the album. Obviously, one two seven. Not an album. It's not an album. It's going to be on stage. We're going to mount it as a, a fantasy. Jim Morrison uh, in Paris, the last uh, couple of days of his life, and then thinking about what happened to him and what what he went through, and the dead Indians on the highway. And uh, hey, Ray, you're scaring thing. me. Can you lighten up? Yeah. Really? Uh, on the one two seven. Uh, and I'm going to take the box, and I'm going to cool. put it on, and it's in the box. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting well, a little creepy feeling yes, here. Yes, yes. You guys are scaring me. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. Good <laughs> Lord. Hey, no, it's riders. okay. How come the drummer never says anything? Drummer's drum, man. Yeah. I just tell the jokes. You tell the jokes. <laughs> but that's pretty creepy. What, now, you mean on the box is 127 Fascination? Yes. Now, why the hell is that on the box? Yes, exactly. Very why? cryptic. Why? Why? What, why? Does that what does that mean? 127 Fascination. Let's all and write that down. And he was barefoot when he labeled it. <laughs> I'm going to play that in the numbers. <laughs> two, right, seven. Hey, good right. idea. Good idea. <laughs> yes. Good idea. Numerologically, seven and two, nine, one, ten. It's mark of the devil. A one. Mm -hmm. No, it's a one. It's the initial, uh, the initial entry into this plane of existence. One. Oh, that means Jim's alive. I got you. I, I catch what your drift is. In other words, you're not saying yes or no, but you're, you're alluding to the fact that Jim Morrison is alive. You got it. Oh, <laughs> it's probably over my house porking my wife, <laughs> knowing him. What a bum. I tell you, I can't handle it. <laughs> but, uh, of course, we're here with the great doors and Danny Shrinker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Now just sit I don't there. need to take this just shit sit there. They say oh, oh, oh. I'm kidding around with you, Buzzers Danny. Go off, yes. You're a wise guy. <laughs> Danny, what we're going to do is, of course, you are the one who knows the most about the doors. Okay, Danny, lighten up. 
And um, we have, of course, the other two doors here. Of course, the yeah. guitar player was too good I, to come here. I guess he knows more about us than we do. Huh? Right. I was going to say, are there things you know about them, Danny, that you don't tell them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Let me also remind you that uh, the doors are coming out with a new video. Well, the video's out. Yeah. It's out a live week. concert of the doors. And probably even more so than their albums, their live concerts really made history. Did you ever see the doors in concert, Howard? Did I? What a question, Danny. How dare you embarrass me with that? Do you think that I would, yes, would have gone no, through maybe. my early childhood without seeing the doors live? Did where'd you? you? Where'd you see them? Well, I, my parents wouldn't let me go. <laughs> they're afraid I'd get in trouble. But I did want to go. I could have gotten in trouble. I was at a young age. I was 17 years old. I don't think... Uh, Didn't stand up to your parents like Morrison did. See? No, I could not. You got to do that, man. No. Could not stand up to my parents. What sports mean? Sports. Spots. 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 Time for sports. Spots. We got to break for commercials. We're you got to get out of here. He can't read. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. <laughs> you really got to go? Yeah, Howard. Oh, you Sorry, do? Yeah. Where do you got to go? We got to go over to Electra. Away. Where? Electra Records. W N E W. Electra. No, really. Where are you going? Scott, Electra Records. Yep. 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 Scott Muni. Show. What are you doing at Electra Records? Well, we're not doing you. No, really, where are you guys going? Did you have to rush? Electra we have Records. to go. We're going we to Electra Records. We don't live here. We don't. Who are you doing an interview with? International Press. Not somebody as but good as you. Will you have us really? back, Howard? Howard? Yeah, Howard. Can we we'll have back? you guys back. This is good. This is it good. Is. I en I've enjoyed this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah why don't you call us up? You call just... Martha Hume up. Quinn. H Hume. Whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Martha Hume? Danny. Martha Hume. She was on MTV. She was a writer. Quinn. <laughs> All right. I tell you what. I heard Quinn you Hume. call Martha. Well, why don't Quinn. you guys come back? Maybe well, we we're will. coming back in a month. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I might be on vacation, but. You guys are good. No, no, I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop by. No, seriously, come Ooh. on back and we'll party some more. Here. All right, let's do you it. You got it. Let's and do it. Next ask, time you, you have to spend ask, more time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can ask anything yeah. you want, Howard. Of course I can ask anything I want. These guys are uptight. Danny, you're the only one who's uptight. They don't mind answering <laughs> these questions. I haven't heard You dirty. made them nervous, Danny. You're Danny. Dirty. It's your fault. I dirty. <laughs> well, have you said it on the whole show? Then you'll hear. And then we can do the news together. Yeah. And I'll say some And I'll say some dirty stuff. Yeah. And we could. I wanted to answer phone calls, but we ran out of time. Oh, no. Look too at, bad. Look too at all bad. those lights. Too bad. Too. Everyone Next wanted time. to call in. Next time. Next time. From Philly and New York. Well, anyway, a couple of weeks. We want to thank, of course, <clears throat> Ray, Manzarek. Ray Manzarek. That's correct. John Densmore and Danny Sugarman. And a hell with the guitar player. <laughs> yeah. Robbie. <laughs> a 57 year old man calling himself Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call himself Robert. It's time. You know what I mean? It's time to grow up. Bye. All right. So we'll see you guys. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. bye. Okay. Take care.